Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.3 physical digestion. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 7.3 you need to describe the term physical digestion with reference to the stomach and the different types of human teeth, describe the structure of a human tooth and for extended explain the role of bile in emulsifying fats. In our last lesson we learned about the organ of the alimentary canal and their functions. In this one we'll expand and go into a little more detail on one part of the process, physical digestion. So physical digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller pieces without chemical changes to the food molecules. This serves to increase the surface area of food for the action of enzymes in chemical digestion, which we'll cover in detail in topic 7.4. The process of physical digestion mainly occurs in the mouth. Teeth are used to chew the food into smaller pieces, which have passed on to the stomach in the form of a bolus and broken down further by enzymes. You need to be able to identify and describe the functions of the different types of human teeth in the physical digestion of food. So, incisors are located at the front of the mouth. They are chisel shaped with sharp edges for cutting off pieces of food. Canines are located either side of the incisors. They're slightly larger and more pointed, but perform a similar function. Behind the canines are the premolars. They have either one or two roots that secure them to the jaw, and two knobbly surfaces called cusps, which crush and grind the food into small particles that can be efficiently acted upon by enzymes. Finally, molars are located at the back of the mouth. Their function is similar to that of the premolars, but they have four or five cusps instead of two, and two two or three roots. Next, you need to describe the structure of a human tooth. The exposed part of the tooth above the gum line is known as the crown, and the portion below is the root. The crown is lined with an extremely hard wear-resistant substance called enamel, which insulates the tooth and protects its inner components. This layer is replaced by cement in the root, which allows the tooth to grip to its bony socket in the jaw. Below the enamel is a layer of dentine, a softer substance that reinforces the enamel and helps to support the structure of the tooth. Inside the dentine is a pulp cavity containing blood vessels and nerve cells. The nerves help to control the amount of force used when you chew, while the blood vessels supply oxygen and nutrients which are essential for the general health and maintenance of the tooth. Finally, you need to be able to describe the role of the stomach in physical digestion. So the stomach wall contains layers of muscle that alternately contract and relax, churning and squeezing the food. This mixes the food with gastric juice and helps to break it down into a liquid. Just like chewing, this action increases the surface area of the food so that it can be digested more efficiently by enzymes. Okay, so that's everything for the core section, but for extended, you also need to outline the role of bile in physical digestion. So bile is a green watery fluid that's produced by the liver, stored in the gallbladder, and released into the duodenum through the bile duct. It contains bile salts that emulsify or break down large lipid particles into small droplets with a large surface area. These droplets are then chemically digested by the action of the enzyme lipase. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.3 physical digestion. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 7.4 chemical digestion.